Hi everyone, Sid here again. Um, today's lather will be taken vanilla, but uh, I feel like switching up the aftershave, so I'll be doing uh, Prorazzo White. Um, I'm going to jump right into today's topic because I don't know how long it's going to take for me to uh, get into each one of these things. Um, Confucius said that the beginning of wisdom is calling things by their proper name. And I don't know if you noticed, but um, the state likes to use fancy words to describe what they do. And uh, some of these words have been repeated to us very often. I think it was either Hitler or someone in his staff who said uh, that if you repeat a lie often enough, eventually people will believe it. And uh, some of these words that I'm about to get into have been repeated to us uh, since we were about five years old, um, non-stop. So people have, have uh, most people anyway, have, have developed some kind of acceptance towards it, uh, which I don't really think makes sense when you look at what the word actually is. So uh, the first one I'm going to get into, obviously, is taxes. Um, so what's a tax? Um, you know what, before getting into that, I want to... I want to um, mention that ever since I've, I've been uh, aware of the ideas of liberty, what I've started to do to try to, to break this conditioning um, that started uh, since a very young age uh, for all of us is uh, to use terms, basically I describe government actions using the words that uh, someone would use if I did it. And if you feel some kind of resistance at that, at, that, uh, at that notion, I would suggest that there are, there are two things, one of two things that, um, that are um, lacking in your thinking. Uh, so you're either thinking that um, I can delegate a right to someone else that I don't have, or you, you're thinking that the government owns you or uh, owns your stuff. Um, I can't really reduce it down to... Um, I can't really uh, make it much simpler than that. But uh, let me just go into it and um, hopefully if I actually made a mistake in what I just said, I'll be able to catch myself. So, what is a tax? A tax is uh, uh, when you're forced to pay for something. So, um, what would one call it if I walked up to someone and said, I'll do it the way cops do it. I'll say, I'm going to have to ask you for uh, half the money in your bank account. And if the person said no, uh, then my friend would, uh, you know, come up and uh, hit you over the head with a billy club and throw you in a cage and kill you if you resist. So, it should be pretty obvious that if I did that, uh, someone, most people would call that extortion, uh, which I think is a, a, a fancy way of saying theft. And, and that's the thing, like, breaking programming that, that we've been subjected to since we were five, basically, um, is... A pretty difficult thing to do. That's why when uh, libertarians, and I used to do this, they say taxation is theft, uh, I find that they come into resistance. Uh, a strategy that I've used to uh, reduce that is to say that taxation is coercive because um, I get, I run into the same objections with, uh, that most libertarians run into when they call taxation theft, uh, which is to say they use what's, what's done with the money after the fact, or they, they appeal to how what's done with the money is really important and that's why we need to force everyone to pay it, yada, yada, yada. Um, but 
if you use that concept and apply it to anything else, it can re be revealed for the insanity that it is. So, uh, something that I like to do to illustrate this is, let's say you have a, a man who rapes a woman, and then uh, the, the, the woman says, yeah, this guy raped me. And someone says, yeah, but he was really horny. Uh, no one would accept that. And I think that, and, and I've addressed this in previous videos, like what's done with the money after the fact doesn't erase the moral, uh, the moral uh, wrong that took place to get the money in the first place and also eliminates the, the um, purported generosity uh, that doing XYZ with the coercively extracted money. Um, I forgot the beginning of my sentence, sorry. Uh, so, basically, I'm going to move on to another one, which is law. Um, what is a law? So, a law is a rule that either compels you to act in a certain way or um, stops you, prevents you from acting in a certain way. And I've, I've kind of gotten into that in my video um, on legality and morality. Um, the, the, the key difference though, and this is where um, my belief that if, if you have like an emotional reaction to what I'm saying with regards to law, um, part of you might think that government owns you or that they own everything. Uh, because uh, I think it was Wes Bertrand who gave the example of uh, you can come into my house, but you have to wear this funny hat. Um, the difference is I own the home. Uh, but if I say everyone must wear funny hats, I'm basically uh, claiming ownership over everything. Uh, so that's where the fundamental flaw is. And either, there's no there's no consistent way around that. Either you think that I can delegate um, a right that I don't have by, by checking a box, uh, by, um, by checking a box near your name and uh, all of a sudden you can have, you can lord power over Bob's property or, uh, or Alice's property or whatever. Um, or you think that Bob or Alice legitimately own everything, uh, that they're, they're, that they're, forbidding or compelling certain behaviors uh, upon. Uh, I'll get back to you in a sec. Uh, so, this comes back to uh, another common libertarian saying that I see, which is, uh, a law is an opinion backed by a gun. Um, and as accurate as I think that is, I think that it's important to, uh, well, for those of you who want to, I mean, who am I to tell you what to do? If I had the hubris to think I could just tell you what to do, I'd be running for office, or I'd become a cop. Um, but the, 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 something important to consider is that I think when you want to make an idea stick in the mind of someone, it's important to be compassionate about uh, with where that person is coming from, which is why I tend to, to shy away from, from saying it in such a blunt manner, uh, unless I'm in a cranky mood or whatever, which happens. But um, that's why when I, when I say that taxation is theft, I run into more resistance than when I say taxation is coercive. I don't know why that difference is there, and it's not that huge of a difference, but I have noticed it. Which is why I stop referring to taxation as theft. But everyone knows that it's coercive because everyone knows what happens when you don't pay your taxes. And my strategy for talking about the law, um, because that's the thing, and, and this is another thing that's been schooled into us, um, and why I love the term code violation, because when someone 
refers to something as being illegal, there's there's this there's this charge. It, it's it's as if, and again, I've addressed this in a previous video. It's as if people equate what is legal with what is moral, and saying that if if someone commits a code violation, let's go back to my no seatbelt example from uh, from last video. So someone drives with a no seatbelt in a state that has a seatbelt rule. And let's say he doesn't decide, let, let's say he pulls over, the cop doesn't kill him right then and there. The cop actually speaks to him or her, let's make it a man. Uh, the cop actually speaks to him before, uh, before escalating the violence. So, so the dude drives around with no seatbelt, the cop pulls him over, and uh, let's make the cop a man too. So, the, yeah, so as the, the, the guy is talking to the cop, he decides that um, he doesn't want to pay the ticket. Yeah, okay. I should have thought this example through, but uh, it's pretty simple. So, the, the dude gets the ticket from the cop, drives off, and decides he's not going to pay it. Um, now, uh, after ignoring whatever letters are sent to him for a while, um, more cops come to him. And then, uh, then he, he still decides he's not going to pay and he gets dragged off to jail or whatever. Um, most people, unfortunately, would say something along the lines of, yeah, but he broke the law, what he did was illegal. Um, these are all nice ways of saying that uh, he deserved to be kidnapped. Which brings me to uh, my last term, which I want to do before ending this video. Um, arrest. Uh, this is another one that, uh, that gets repeated over and over again. What would we call it if I walked up to someone, um, mentioned this, this code, uh, that the person is in violation of and let's say it was a major infraction so I have to arrest this person right away so basically um, and it has to be someone else so let's say um, let's say I have a rule that says um, people people caught smoking cigarettes within my presence will be arrested so basically, I just walk around finding a bunch of smokers and just drag them off and uh, throw them into a cage that I have or whatever. Um, that would clearly be arrest. Um, so I think the, 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 the point that I'm getting to, first of all, I'm explaining why I use certain terms that I use. Uh, for those of you who actually know me, I think that it's really important to, to call things by their proper name and not... Um, um, buy into the euphemisms that, that uh, governments use to describe their own actions because, again, the, 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 the masking of the naked truth behind what they're doing is part of the strategy behind uh, um, getting our acceptance. And I think that by using the, 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 the terms that we would use if I did them, uh, it kind of breaks through that programming. So that's why um, when I, I'd rather say taxation is coercion, laws are just um, imposed behaviors on property that doesn't belong to you, and uh, arrest is kidnapping, basically. There are plenty more, but uh, that's obviously all I have time for in this video, so thank you very much for watching. Please leave comments. Uh, under this video right here. Uh, you can like this. Please like and share. Uh, you can subscribe to me on YouTube and on Twitter. I am at SidRockMTL. Thank you very much for watching once again. I will see you in the next video. I'll see you soon. You take care. Bye.